Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Michael Ridley. Uh, it's uh, uh, it's another motherfucking. Uh, I'm I'm just waking up, man. Where's my phone? It's right there. Uh, thank you, thank you, yep. thank you, Christoph. We got Christoph John in the motherfucking house. What's good, y'all? Yeah, it's Radio Ridley Radio, baby. You already know. Triple Today, R R three, like, like R. that Indian movie. <laughs> <laughs> Same noise you make when you see Indian guys. <laughs> Growl at Indian guys. Growling at Indian people's crazy. <laughs> Today's date. <laughs> just growling me, at Indian guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me do the header. <laughs> let me, this is gonna be a fun episode, guys. Yep. Today's date is August twenty first. It's two forty eight p.m. CST in the great town of Austin, Texas. I'm joined with my very good friend Christoph John. He puts me in fucking stitches. He's been killing it all over Austin since he's gotten here. He's a she, door guy at the comedy she, mothership. Chill, chill, chill. He's a cute ass ginger. <laughs> Cute little ginger <laughs> You know stop, that motherfucker got red stop. hair and shit. You know what I'm saying? He got you the play red, too, you're playing too, you play much. too much. You got the, <laughs> dude, it, the red facial hair blows my mind. Thanks, man. Because I always see like redheads with black facial hair. Have you noticed that? Like, mm. it, you're, dude, you just red all I'm the way red around. all. I'm, you know, you're, I, my pubes is red. <laughs> Holy shit. I trimmed them yesterday. Sick, dude. Yeah, yeah. it was pretty cool. That's crazy. crazy. You ever, like, uh, you trim your pubes, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, well, I shave them. <laughs> yeah, you use a razor? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I use a, like a clipper. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The clipper is for the guys who want to keep. I like I like my wiener to to be look pull, fully bald. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it, you know, it it's, yeah, it's small, so I have to do whatever I can to like <laughs> make it bigger. It. Yeah, you have to enhance. Is your pee pee really small, or you just or you just no? Small? It's well, right now it is. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, most my pee pee's big right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, most of the time my pee pee's like like maybe uh, I would say like a uh, two inches soft, two inches soft. But then when I get hoard, yeah, 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 yeah. I would kill myself if my dick <laughs> got as big <laughs> as it is. Like, if it was just a two-inch dick that just got hard, I would kill myself. Yeah, yeah. But that was, like, my wife's ex-boyfriend. <laughs> she would talk about that. Well, yeah. he had a small pee-pee? Yeah, he had, like, a micro-penis. Oh, no. Yeah, he had a micro-penis. Well, that's great for you. Yeah, it's cool for me because I'm, like, a black guy compared to that dude. Yeah, because you have a normal penis. You're yeah, like, but, like, hung a, like a horse. Yeah, I'm normal. Like, I wouldn't say it's, like, it's, um, I wouldn't say it's, like, a... There's PP mode and then there's fuck time. Yeah. You know what I mean? I have two I have two gears. There's fuck time. Fuck time and then Yeah, PP mode. PP PP mode, fuck time, and yeah. then ultra instinct. <laughs> Everyone has ultra instinct. Yeah. Where you look down and you're like, yo, my shit is seven and a half inches right now. Right. What the fuck? Yeah. When it's mode <laughs> <laughs> It's like, yo, what the fuck? Ultimate instinct. That's uh, yeah, that's all uh, yeah, that's uh, ultimate I like, instinct. I'm gonna say that next time I make love to my <laughs> I'm going ultimate instinct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'd be going super sane in the pussy. Just yeah. ah, ah, <laughs> just <fucking>. ah! <laughs> You ever see that kid that tries to go super saiyan? Uh, what like in public? No, there's like an eight year old black kid who's like a YouTube channel, and he's yeah. like, he has uh the longest yeah boy ever, and he yeah, also boy. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. guy rules. Yeah, it's yeah, the same. I'm pretty sure, or I'm racist. It's the same kid who he tries to go Super Saiyan, and yeah. it's like it's like a four and a half minute video of him just going, ah, <laughs> and like he he really believe he thinks that he's at the beginning he goes, you can do anything you put your mind to. Incredible <laughs> mindset. <laughs> yeah, he's like, if you focus hard enough and you dream big enough, <laughs> you can go Super Saiyan. Mamba mentality. Go go literally SSJ3. the Mamba mentality for real. Just I can go literally SSJ3. go Super Saiyan right now, <laughs> and go. then he screams for like four and a half <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Do you remember the hurricane simulators that you'd see in the mall? Yeah, of course. <laughs> There's a video of a black dude dressed as Goku. And he, just goes in, <laughs> he, just, he has like the wig on and everything. That rules. And he goes in there and he's just. Ah! And the dude. mall, you know how malls are. It's like the ambient you know how music. Malls are. Yeah, they're like ambient music, but mostly quiet. Yeah. That's <laughs> all you hear is yes. black dude going SSJ3. It's like. Right? Yeah, just yeah. in the background. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just Michael Buble and him <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. Michael Bublé in the mall. Fucking is, Bublé. Is. You unlocked like core memories with dude, that. Dude, fucking, he's mall, he's mall mode. He is. Yeah, I mean, he's mall. He's mom mode. He's uh, like that's like moms want to of... suck him off and like go Christmas shopping. There's a lot of music. There's a lot of bands that just like uh, or musical artists that just make money like that. Like mm-hmm. the Black Keys. Yeah. Those guys, I guess they must. They must like. Uh, I saw them in, in New York City at Madison Square Garden. They did the Kill Tony opening for the second show. Oh, nice. And I was like. I know the name, but I don't know any of their songs. Yeah. And then the motherfucker started going, and I was like, dude, I fucking instantly transported. It's like Toyota Tacoma. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, the like, Nissan Forerunner. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, yeah. It fucking, it, I, it like transferred me back to when I was like, Working at a Boost Mobile, getting yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, nah, motherfucker, my phone fucking up. Get the gold on the ceiling. My phone fucked up. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. My Pre- SIM card not working. Yeah, it says SIM card not working. And I, I'm trying to put more pictures on my SIM card. <laughs> Always trying to put more pictures on How you on put this. minutes on this bitch? <laughs> yeah. It's but yeah, crazy. no, that would suck, dude, working at a Boost Mobile. Uh, four years, dude. Four tours, dude. <laughs> four tours, <laughs> Boost Mobile? Oh, oh yeah, dude, prepaid Boost cellular. Mobile. Dude, prepaid cellular vet right oh, here, dude. Oh, God. First four years of my comedy career was just fucking. Where are you from? Virginia. Oh, Newport you, News. Was it you were four years in a in a Virginia Boost Mobile? Newport News. Bro, Boost you're Mobile. a fucking you're I'm black. more important than those. <laughs> <laughs> I'm black. I, uh, you're you're stronger than most veterans. Uh dude, honestly, man, it was like it was like Chinese fucking waterboard or whatever fucking Chinese. Dude, torture. did you follow black people around the store to make sure they didn't steal? It was a small store. It was about as big as a studio. So oh, you okay. kinda they make them small on purpose. Yeah. So that you that can fuck sense. it. You know what I mean? So they can small, do eyes. It's yeah. cheap, and then you can do eyes. But and, you could have been get out my stone. Dude, first, yeah, I've, I've had to get out my store. <laughs> yeah, I've had to. There was a you're steering. Get out my store. <laughs> you lived in New York, right? Yeah. You know the three cup Monty guys? Of course. Oh my god, dude! I guess some New York. A lot of people from New York City moved down. So people Virginia? from Philly. Yeah, yeah. So like something about Virginia is like it's a safe haven for all the criminals of everything <laughs> north of it. So like Delaware, Rhode Island, all the yeah, Philly, yeah. New York City, and then these guys would just come to Virginia to do like big city crime, sh- like petty crime shit like that yeah so it's like uh i was like brother you got to get out of here he's like nah b i was about to cut you in a hundred dollars bro and then he called me <laughs> then he called me an agate <laughs> i was like holy shit <laughs> whoa well, you, they do with the foam ball and the foam ball is yeah, like yeah, the yeah. hack it's like you can pinch it and hide it and then you yeah, pull course. another one it's just magic yeah it's just, just magic black magic yeah the, another black magic was uh, chess i would just get owned in chess and give them ten dollars oh god yeah because they, they probably didn't want to play you they're like, nah, big nah, man. Nah, hey, nah, nah big nah, man. I did. <laughs> <laughs> nah, big man, I ain't playing you. <laughs> I pull out that fucking, uh, the Jew star with all the beads. <laughs> Chinese checkers. Yeah. <laughs> fucking. You're like, ready for a real game? <laughs> yeah. The three-tiered fucking, the three-tiered chess from Three Star Trek. Three-dimensional chess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Star Trek chess. Yeah, that'd be sick, dude. No, they would beat me, and then one guy, he refused, it was a draw, it was a tie, mm-hmm. but he refused to accept that it was a tie, mm-hmm. because if he did a different move, or I did a different move, then, uh, or if he did a different move, then the one he kept repeating over and over again, I would win. Right. So he just kept doing it. I'm like, dude, I'm going to win if you don't do that move over and over again. You need to, like, it's a draw. It's a draw. And he's like, I'll never draw. I simply refuse. You can sit here forever. <laughs> he was like, a, he, that's what he said to me, and then he was like, I have a gun. <laughs> and I was like, all right, you win, dude. Right, yep. You win. You win by default. There you go. There you go. It. I had something like that too happen. Like Boost Mobile had a lot of weird shit always happen. Like, um, do you remember when Manny Pacquiao fought Fl- uh, Floyd Mayweather? Yeah. Dude, I all my black customers are like, oh, you Filipino? <laughs> I'm gonna let you know right now, black will always win. <laughs> I was like, dude, what? Yeah. All right, man, your bill is thirty five bucks a month. <laughs> Yo, fuck Manny Pacquiao. Yo, fuck Manny Pacquiao. Black will always win, and Floyd Mayweather won. And I was yeah. like, uh, all yeah. right, maybe you have a point. Uh, <laughs> thank you. You know, thank, thank, you. thank you for. You're you half know. Filipino, half white. White, yeah. White. Arkansas and the Philippines. So nice. Two, ty- two types of trash: white and yellow. <laughs> 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 Fucking. Are Filipinos trashy? Uh, they are considered low tier Asians. I don't think they're low tier. I don't think they are either. I think yeah. we're like one of. The, I think. I would say top three. I would say Japanese, Filipino, and then probably... What, Korean? Yeah. Mm. Top Korean. Mm, I'd put Korean mid-tier. Yeah. I'd put I'd put Koreans with Vietnamese people. Really? Yeah, I'd put... Yeah, because I don't know, dude. I kind of grew up around, like... I Anytime I did try to make Asian friends, it would be, like, rich Vietnamese kids or Weird. rich Korean kids, and they were just dicks, and their parents caught wind of uh, me being Filipino yeah. or something. And it's like some kind of caste, Asian American caste system where it's like, mm. wait, what? Do, what do rich Vietnamese people do? <laughs> Buy Lexuses. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do they do for work? Uh, do fingernails. Oh, they own so, yeah, like a, yeah, a fleet of like fingernail fucking, stores. They have a fucking yeah. They have a whole uh, empire of, of, of salons of Sally Nail. <laughs> 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 fucking. They own the tug job yeah, place. Yeah, June June Nails or some shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then they all drive like fucking stanced Lexuses that, that their parents rules. Be. Yeah. So like, I knew one guy. It, there was a there was a nail shop next to the Boost Mobile I worked at. <laughs> this fucking lady. Of course there was. <laughs> I was out, out front of it smoking a cigarette, and this lady came up. She's like, mm, 
I know you. You the fingernail man. I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna see you next week. So she like mistook me for a fucking B to B fingernail man. Fing, I'm, I was the fingernail man, and no, I was like, yeah, just f- come and see me next week. I'll give you a discount. So somewhere a Vietnamese She's guy. Like, was like, yeah, somewhere a Vietnamese guy. No, like, what the fuck? I did not tell you. I did not. I did not say you get discount. The, the customer. This dick not free. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. It does sound like Kendrick Lamar crying the Vietnamese accent. <laughs> 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 it's the it's the the sad skits on Tabimpa Butterfly. Oh God, those make me cringe. <laughs> I'm like Kendrick, this ain't it, dog. You really? Cry. When he's like, I'm gonna drink a whole, a whole bottle. <laughs> clink, clink, clink. Yeah, yeah, clink, <laughs> clink. Yeah, but yeah, I was uh, like, I'm so bad. They would have. Uh, was conflicted. I knew you was conflicted. Misusing your nail shop. Use. <laughs> I knew you was conflicted. Paying thirty five dollars a month for a prepaid cell phone. <laughs> Yelling at the Asian man behind the counter. <laughs> I knew you was conflicted. <laughs> it's the first of the month, and you got to give up money immediately. <laughs> but no, it was crazy, dude. It would be like the first and the 15th. We'd have like fucking eight grand in cash in the back of that Whoa. fucking place. You know how many times I would just be like, let me take it. I, yeah, I would just fucking plot, listening to Kendrick, and be like, yeah, set up a robbery the first Saturday I clocked in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like thinking of like, fucking dude, yeah, dude, text, just shoot a text like, yeah, dude, just hit me, make sure I get like four racks. Yeah, 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 we'll split it 50-50. We'll split it, dude. Just punch me in the head. Yeah, they take the whole eight, and I go to jail still. Yeah, Sick. with a big black eye. Yeah. That would suck, dude. Um, I never stole from work. I, I wish I had stole. I can't, mm, I've never stolen. No, we Not yeah, from we, work. No, 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 not from work, no. I'm trying I, to think of the best place I could have stolen from. Nah, there's no like, no. Stolen from. But yeah, I worked those, at a weed dispensary for a while. Yeah, but we had to but do they the count you, every day. Yeah, but they give you free weed anyways. They, no, it's, no it, 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 it wasn't free. It'd just be very discount, heavily discounted. It was oh, like you got so like whack. just give me the weed, forty percent off or something just like that. Just give me the weed, bitch. Just give me the weed. Just yeah, but I didn't. Um, I don't smoke weed. It makes me scaled. Oh, yeah. I get fucking scaled. I don't smoke weed either. It makes uh, me literally so fucking scared. I'm Do you okay. not drink anymore? You're a sober I'm guy? I'm okay with uh, edible here and there. I'm trying to be a <laughs> mass doing the art of edibles. Literally. Yeah, I want to do that. I want to, like, just take an edible... Yeah, that weed syrup that you I saw did... me with. I've nah, been just oh, go, yeah. I go in and just... Yeah, but I'm I, like I'll go off the deep end. Like literally last the other night, I was at home with my wife, and I felt like something in my head. You know, you get high or yeah. something, or you, you feel a weird you pressure. feel like a weird pressure in your head, and then I just stop everything. We're watching Fifty First Dates. I hit pause. I go, honey, I think I have brain worms like RFK. Mm-hmm. We should probably schedule something soon. <laughs> I was like, I can feel them in my head. You know? She said, go to go to bed, honey. Go to bed. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, you don't have brain worms. She's like, you don't have brain worms, honey. I, mean, I love you so much. You don't have brain worms. I feel like I do. Uh, I feel yeah, it so sounds sure. like someone without brain worms who is talking to someone who has brain worms. <laughs> yeah, very condescending. They're literally telling me they're in there. I must kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, those Vietnamese guys at the uh, nail shop, basically what they would do is I knew one next to the Boost Mobile, and he would sell pounds. And weed's super legal right now. Yeah, of course. In Virginia. But he was selling pounds, and then he would fucking just sit at the fucking place and fucking... Scritch up nails all day. The black, something like from a movie or something. Dude, black black ladies show up for the nails, and the black dudes are coming buy weed from them. <laughs> just fucking. And then the the owner of the place next door, his name was Michael, also, but he was like a gay. He was gay, but he was like. He was also gay. He was gay, but he wasn't like. You never saw him with a dude, but he did talk. He had the he had like the Vietnamese gay guy list. Oh, yeah, of course. He's like, oh, I introduce you to my niece. <laughs> maybe, maybe you like her. Maybe you know you guys get married. Maybe I pay you twenty five thousand dollars. Dude, I almost like before I started dating my wife, I almost married a Vietnamese chick for twenty five racks. Dude, I would have married a Vietnamese chick for twenty five racks. Well, like, dude, you also at a certain ha- point in my life. You uh, yeah, a certain point in my life, I was like twenty three when this was offered to me, and wow. I was like, bro, just I, to, for her fresh to come out to home- America. Yeah, fresh out of homelessness. But here's the thing, dude, you got to kick her. You got to. Hit her up on kick. Oh, you, gotta hit her up. you had to physically kick her. Oh, no, that would have been chill. I would have done, <laughs> done that for 25K. <laughs> All right. Kick a Vietnamese America's guy. favorite game show, kick a, a Vietnamese, Vietnamese girl. Woman. Yeah, yeah. She's like, Ow. Oh. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh. Black guy. Oh. Timbal and boot my chest. Oh. <laughs> Timbal and boot in my chest. Oh, what the oh. hell? Oh, F one print on my head. <laughs> But yeah, no, yeah, sick, dude. it Just was crazy. Sparta kicking Vietnamese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 this is Boost Mobile. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is gonna be a good one, guys. 
<laughs> go ahead and smash that classic subscribe. Classic Sparta kicking a yeah. Vietnamese bit. <laughs> yeah, everyone does that. Uh, one. We've heard a it a thousand times. Johnny Carson did that actually. Yeah, yeah. Nineteen seventy nine. Such a hack bit. I can't believe we did that. Yeah, it's embarrassing, <laughs> dude. Yeah, I tell you, I kick a Vietnamese guy. Yeah, I, get, <laughs> I get no respect. I kick a Viet Cong right mm. in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> get no you know, respect. He's no wiping. respect. The only people I can kick are the Vietnamese. Yeah, it's really easy. I can't lift my legs that high. And they're not that tall. So <laughs> hey, boom, bam. <laughs> that was dice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow! Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kicking a Vietnamese. Hickory dickory <laughs> duck. Vietnamese trainee sucking my cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! I pulled down her pants. She made a dick dance. <laughs> <laughs> then I kicked. I told the bitch to kick rocks. Dude, that's pretty good, yeah, dude. Yeah, well, I saw. Dude, he did the poems. Andrew Rice Clay. <laughs> Andrew Rice Clay. Uh, <laughs> Hickory dickory <laughs> duck. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm soft, I got a two-inch cock. <laughs> Dude, I love Andrew Rice Clay. Andrew Rice Clay. Just, I have the same hairline now, too. <laughs> Oh, dude, we should do Andrew Rice Clay. Andrew Rice Clay for 45 <laughs> more minutes, dude. Oh, 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 hey, bitch, what's in the bowl? <laughs> it's rice. Hey, bitch, what's in the bowl? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> dude, yeah, hell yeah. But uh, what, was, what were we even talking about? The fucking um, uh, kicking Vietnamese people in the chest. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boost Mober. Twenty five. Yeah, twenty five racks. Almost married this lady for fucking twenty five racks. She was, bro, I, but she was like thirty five, and I'm twenty three. So it was, was like, she it was, sexy though? No. Oh, damn. <laughs> she was like older. She was like, you know, saw some shit. I feel like Vietnamese girls are pretty. Yeah. This is my impression of Vietnamese girls. Because I went to school with a. Um, yeah, there are hot Vietnamese a girls. A lot of Vietnamese girls and a lot of them are very good looking. Yeah. Vietnamese yeah. girls are hot. And where I'm from. Filipinos, too. Yeah, the Filipino girls. Yeah, but like those chicks always, you, we lose them to, you know, either rich. Tech, of, tech whites. Rich of the same race. Yeah. Tech whites, they're like middle class. Yeah. Or just absolutely like poor. guys who look like me or engineers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then, then they have just, like a nine out of ten Asian girl, and you're like, okay, yeah. well. And she's American. Yeah. You're like, okay, or what the, hell? the final choice is light skinned black guy with Cadillac ooh. CTSV. <laughs> <laughs> that specific car. <laughs> just, ooh, do ooh, ooh. Oh, CTSV. <laughs> oh, suck your ball sack in the front seat of a Cadillac. <laughs> ooh, do oh, more. seat warmer for my little pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep my pussy warm. <laughs> I love to warm my pussy heat in up the my CTSV. <laughs> <laughs> heat up. Heat up. Heat, heat up my bon me. <laughs> my Vietnamese sandwich. Well, I have the French baguette in between my legs. Oh, little hot dog bun <laughs> pussy. No, my. Vietnamese food might be the best food. It is so chronic. We had some crazy Vietnamese food in uh, Portland, dude. There's so this place. Good. They took me to this place, and it's like there were these crazy ass, like, um, I'm going to airdrop Taylor the interior of this place so I can show you. But it was fucking sick, bro. You walk in, and there's just like, neon lights everywhere and it looked very like uh it looked like some vr chat like asian food <laughs> place like it looked like it was like a video game in there i'm about to airdrop it to taylor now we're gonna put it on the screen and i'll show you dude but they had like the vietnamese like fuck boys work in the front desk yeah and they were all nice <laughs> Like, I walk in with three white people, and they're all nice to them. And, and then I walk up, and they're mean to me, dude. <laughs> I picked up on that Asian hate, bro. They're like, you're definitely But look not at this place. Vietnamese. Well. This place rules. What was this place called again, Taylor? Luck Luck. Luck Luck. Luck Luck. L-U-C-L-A-C. Luck Luck. Luck Luck. Luck Luck Luck. Let's see here. Oh, that's, Jesus. Isn't that sick? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Look how Asian that place that's is. It's Asians dude. as hell. Yeah, the little Did, fucking Do you order, umbrellas? like, on a screen? You order from them up front. Okay. And then you pick a seat. Portland's, like, retarded. They want you to, like, clean your table and then tip the guy before you get your food. And it's, like, it's Dude, all backwards. I hate that kind of shit. I hate that shit. Every restaurant in Portland was like that. It's, like, you place your order. I'm then like, this they is ask fast casual, tip. bro. You don't get to fucking, you get an 8% tip. If 10% tip. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I feel like giving it to you. go to a coffee to. shop. You go to a coffee shop. It starts at 25 and ends at 40. I'm like, suck my, my ass in half. I know. The, the, I, I'll, I'll tuck it from the back, and you can just head back there. And fucking, <laughs> you can suck my fruit bowl, dude. This is fucking dude, horse. Dude, this is crazy. I'm Straight like, up horse. nope. Yeah, and then they give you, like, a quirky interior so you don't feel so shitty about it. Yeah, you're <laughs> like, they all dude, have... you spent all your money up front costs on umbrellas for the ceiling. And don't, <laughs> yeah. pay your, don't pay off staff. Yeah, but they it was like, um, but it was like, uh, Vietnamese fuck boy with the split bangs oh, and yeah. like bleach like e -boy. tips. E boy, e boy, v Viet boy, Viet boy, Viet Kong boy, Viet Kong boy, <laughs> Kong boy for sure. He was, yeah. um, but he was like, 
Yeah, just let me know if you're ready. <laughs> it's like just whatever, like, dude. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. My my dad owns this place. Yeah, pretty much. That's what it was. Yeah. Huh? What'd you say? I said you can kind of see him. Chuck right Win. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. There he is, right there with the fucking highlighted oh, hair. Oh, let's go, dude. Yeah, he was kind of like shitty to me. <laughs> it was just weird, man. But yeah, yeah, Vietnamese people are chill. But as far as like the Asian rankings, I would say like Japanese, mm-hmm. Filipino, and then I I don't know who takes third. But I know Chinese that- are pretty great. No, Chinese are bottom tier. Really? Chinese they, are bottom tier? Chinese are bottom tier to me because of uh, their government and stuff. But yeah. that, on the same hand. But I don't know. I kind of respect it. I kind of fuck with the Chinese. Yeah. I kind of fuck with the CCP. I like Chinese and, like, people. Uh, yeah. I like Chinese people. I don't know. The government's so crazy that there's something kind of awesome. It's kind of like North Koreans. You're like, whoa. Yeah, I don't understand sick. how that works. Like, how the fuck? Like, yeah, you try to escape and they shoot you on the way out. Yeah, <laughs> crazy, crazy, dude. Yeah, you got the, that one uh, girl with the big ass cannons mm. going on Joe Rogan. Talking mm. about how she ate people. Oh, God. You don't remember her? No. Big, fat, big, fat ones. Big, fat fakers. Oh, wow. She escaped North Korea and then immediately got huge silicon tits. Dude. Nice. Yeah, they'll weird. never recognize me with these <laughs> jugs. <laughs> like, who is this? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no, huh? no, no, the girl who escaped had tiny breasts. This is no, not her. <laughs> this cannot be her. <laughs> oh, you this... know her name? Yunmi Park, yeah. Fucking big y- fat Yon, hooters on Yon her. Me Park. Look at oh, that. There she Look is at her on rogies. On, on rogies with the big milkies. Sheesh, Lewis. Sheesh. Wait, no. We had a boy. We had a small boy. <laughs> we captured the small boy. What if she was like so? What if she just had a huge cock? Would you still? Honestly, bro, she does look like she has a cock. Holy crap, dude. Yeah. Asian yeah. jugs are crazy. North Korean defector. I'll defect her. Dude, defect erect her. her. <laughs> erect good. her, my wiener. <laughs> look, wait, is that her husband? Look at this bull cut looking ass boy. Holy shit. That's yeah. Oh my God. I'm going to go out your instinct tonight. Dude, for he's, sure. <laughs> he's oh. staring at her tits in the wedding photo. Oh, yeah. You got go, the. Uh, don't know, man, man. Korean milk. Oh. <laughs> dude, Korean milk is oh, my favorite. Dude, I walk, kimchi I walk milk. These, I walk these milkers down for wife. <laughs> uh, her, her, pussy, her pussy smells like kimchi, but she got the milk uh, <laughs> I did hook up with a Korean girl. I, I dated a Korean girl when I was in uh, high school, and fucking cooch was horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> fucking haggard. <laughs> what, what, what? What was haggard. wrong? Haggard. Hag- like, it looks weird? It's, no, like the smell. Oh, that's on her. That's not on it's being the Korean. Smell and the, no, I think it's the Korean diet. <laughs> all that shit is high in acids. It's all high fucking... <laughs> Just wacky pH, all that fucking yeah. pickled food. And yeah, that's gonna be good for you. That's got the probiotics. Pickled, yeah, probiotics, but no pickled pussy, dude. It was fucking disgusting. <laughs> pickled pussy. It was fucking gross, dude. I had KBBQ for the first KBBQ time in my life rules. recently. It was well, so by, good. You guys probably went to the one by my house. I think probably. I saw y'all. Probably. Uh, South Austin. Yeah. God damn it! Call yeah, me. Place is always, so always good. call me. So young. Literally, no. I could literally e scooter from my house there. It's like nice. it's that. Yeah, it's that close. Where yeah, I would... that place was ridiculous. I'd never had it, and I thought it would be stupid that you cook your own meal. I was a cynic. I said, "This is dumb. Why am I cooking? Oh, why am I cooking my own food? This is stupid." Yeah, that was my instinct, but I was wrong. It's kind of fun. It was fun, fun, and it's so much food. It's like absurd. Well, and it's it was like, like fifty bucks, yeah. and I ate like a fat, big, fat, fat old fat ass. Me, Jake, Rika, Lemire. Captain Wright, Nate, yeah. Gore, uh, Nate Marshall, yeah, and uh, who else? I think that was it. But we had a whole system going. Yeah, like we had two grills going. Jake's over here. We got Lemare over there. Right, and, and we're just, dude. I'm in the center, so I'm like in the middle yeah. of this uh, <laughs> infinity symbol of food. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like dead in the center. Like they're fucking. <laughs> yeah, no, it was nuts. Yeah, it was it was sick. And yeah. it was like, how much did you spend? Like seventy bucks, and I got a drink, and yeah. tipped. Fair enough. And it's like, dude, I ate like enough for four days. I paid like fifty bucks. I didn't get a drink. Yeah, yeah. It so crazy. it's like the alcohol. Yeah, they have the yeah. A drink plus tip, seventy bucks. They always and I uh, ate like a king. Asian Asian like people. A king. Yeah, Asian people always make. There's one thing I will say about Asian people is that we always make the restaurants look real nice on the inside. Mm-hmm. Have you ever eaten at a, like a Mexican owned Mexican restaurant? <laughs> it's crazy. In it's there. like somebody's like, living room. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a yeah. couch in the dining room. Yeah, there's like, a few of those places that I love though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what's where the good the food's one, at, That's though. the big one. The one with the giant plate of eggs and potatoes, you know what I'm talking about? Mm, huevos uh, Rancheros or something? No, Juan no, in Huevo, Juan in a Million. That place fucking kills. Juan in a Million? Juan in a Million. She, bro, come on down. It's on, on like Cheezer Chavez. Cheezer <laughs> Chavez. It's on Cheezer Chavez. She, bro. It's on Cheezer Chavez. It's so good. Juan in a Million. Shout yeah, out Juan in a Million. They're known for their giant plate of eggs like that. 
Whoa. It's like eggs and potatoes and something else. I forget what it's else. It's the one in a million. Yeah, it's called the one in a million. Bro, I would crush that with a hangover. Dude, and then the queso eggs are crazy, dude. They it's literally eggs? a whole breakfast, a whole ass Mexican breakfast. Bean, potato, meat, uh, motherfucking egg, motherfucking egg boy. And then, then they just ladle fucking... <laughs> <laughs> they just ladle queso over the whole thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right, dude. Look at that. Dude. I know, the right? Fucking, the, the fucking Kill Tony sign-up table. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking... Yeah, the, I mean, that's not fucking, even one in a million, but the, it's the same that's shit. That's the same vibe, It's the yeah. same vibe. It's, it's always that brown tile. Sure. Yeah, they love that. This the, is the back patio of one in a million. Oh, is it oh, really? Sure. Yeah. I've only sat inside. Son of Juan. No, I love a fucking, yeah. like, cheapy, like, Tex-Mex place. It's interesting, too, though. Like, sometimes, like, the best stuff is actually the cheapest stuff for certain foods. Right. Mexican, it's like, are you, am I going to want to go to, like, a five-star Mexican place? It's like, no. Not it's really. Not, it has no sloppy. It has no, no I want to get slop. Yeah, you want sloppy. You want gritty. You I want, want fucking gritty. I want a gritty and eat slop. I wanna, yeah, I want a gritty while I'm eating <laughs> slop. I'm just walking into this dude, I'm fully, one in a million. Yeah, just <laughs> slurping queso eggs through a oh, straw. fuck yeah, dude. With my gamer headphones on. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, uh, no, I don't need a fork. I literally bought a... Stain, I bought a, no, I have my steel, boba, boba straw. straw. <laughs> yes. I have my boba straw still. <laughs> stainless steel boba straw. I can't justify boba, dude. Ugh. It's kind of... It's zesty. a crazy food. It's, it's zesty, zesty as hell. As fuck, it's dude. like, yo, I'm gonna drink syrupy tea with balls in it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I can feel yeah. it. And then and you I'm can like, feel the balls like ejaculate yeah, through yeah, the straw like, in your <laughs> mouth, and you're like, yeah. And then you catch them in your cheek, and you you're... swish them around in your mouth like a fucking squirrel. Oh, uh, dude, my buddy and I uh, went to a boba one time, and I finished the tea, and I just had a fucking whole like yeah. paintball paintball hoppers amount. Of balls. <laughs> 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 dude, I was fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I was shooting them at cars and it would stick just to the African door. Just blow dart style. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just fucking. <laughs> yeah, no, fuck that shit, blaster. dude. And yeah. it's also like drinking like a quarter cup of sugar it's into your crazy. head. It's It's the least healthy it's thing that's crazy. probably fizz. And then you're like, yeah, this one's purple and it tastes like potatoes. And yeah. Like, what are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking here's, mythical ass creature here's, shit am I drinking here's a right mil- now? Yeah, here's a milkshake that kind of tastes like Oreos for five seconds. <laughs> yeah. You're like, all right. Uh, and that'll be eight ninety. Yeah, I was going to say, like, be- suck my ass. <laughs> and then, tip. <laughs> oh, tip a pre. Yeah. <laughs> Tipu? <laughs> yeah, she's it's a it's a white girl. It's a white lady with tape on it's her eyes. It's a white girl with green green hair and tape on her eyes. Yeah, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Ohio. Ohio Gazaimasta. It's like that's not even the right fucking Ohio. Yeah, I remember when I lived in Japan that they went they tried to take me to the boba place and 13-year-old me was like balls. Why do you live drink? in China? Why do you or My China? Was, I just said China. That's China. how racist I am. You why'd said you Japan. Live in, why'd you live in China? Uh, so well, Japan, I'm, what part of China is that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, the best part, <laughs> the racially superior part of uh, China. I love the Japanese. They're my favorite kind of Chinese people. <laughs> God dang it! <laughs> God dang it, Japanese motherfuckers! God dang it, Ichiro! There is an episode where he goes to Japan. Uh, that's one of my favorite. I episodes. Love that episode. Yeah, because they play they play DDR in that episode. Oh, they Bobby's, do. Bobby's little oh, he love. Would swing. love. Yeah, yeah. He, oh, that's right. They go yeah. to the arcades Dansu. in Japan. Oh, that's Dansu. Oh, that's so yeah, sweet. Yeah. And then he has his Japanese half brother who's like a real pussy. Yeah, he's like super polite. He's just. Urgh. Yeah. I build robots. Yeah, he's, he's the type to just samurai sword his guts. Yeah. You can tell. Ichiro. Ichiro Hill. Ichiro? Ichiro. Man, they really did not get creative with the Japanese Ju- name. Junichiro or Ichiro Hill? What was his name? Returning Japanese. <laughs> Returning <laughs> Japanese. I think. Oh, it's so funny, uh, dude. I'm your pappy. Yeah. I'm your dad. Yeah, I'm your pap. Mm-hmm. Uh, Colonel, uh, what? 15, Cotton? 15 men. I right. killed 50 men. <laughs> yeah. 50 yeah. men. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm your pappy. <laughs> it's nice an amazing YouTube thumbnail. Super unhinged. <laughs> but yeah, they would play DDR. I remember I played DDR as a kid. Yeah, I, I love like DDR, dude. It's crazy. You, you mentioned Step Mania before we yeah. started the pod. And I was on Step so Mania. Funny. I was on DDR. God. When did you start Guitar playing? Hero. Oh, dude, rhythm games were worth it. Yeah, that? I loved rhythm games. And there was a huge insurgence of them. Like, uh, then they had DJ Hero. Then they had fucking Rock, yeah, rock, rock band, band. Which was not as good. Rock Band wasn't rock as good. Rock Band, the only fun part was drums. Drums. Everyone wanted to be the drummer. Drums was by far the most fun. Yeah, and if you had like a Down Syndrome cousin or whatever. Yeah, yeah, sing. Lead singer. Home and now. We built it. City on <laughs> we built this city. 
<laughs> it's like Radiohead creep is playing. <laughs> I'm a creep. <laughs> I'm a weirdo. We the mic. Yeah, the mic and the mic's always clipping because he's yeah. he's going like this. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, your grandma's on the couch, like, mm-hmm. hey, she's gay. Good job, Robert. She, there's just bite marks in the in the mic. <laughs> yeah, the foam is missing. Yeah, he's just chewed the foam. <laughs> he's chewed the foam completely <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. I walk and walk. <laughs> Thank you, Mom's living room. <laughs> We're here every Friday after <laughs> school. I'm gonna touch my dog inappropriately. I'm gonna I'm gonna peel his forehead back too hard every time I pet him. <laughs> <laughs> we built this city on rock. <laughs> it's a great song for your dance and your cousin to sing. Yeah, it's the perfect choice. Super easy. <laughs> and then you're like. Yeah, a drummer is having a blast. Guitarist is like on fine. easy. Yeah, yeah guitarist yeah. fine. And then what else did they have? That was it. Yeah, yeah pretty much. And I, but the stupid thing was like the guitar sucked for rock band. Like uh, ergonomically, the flat the flat tabs. Yeah, it was like I the difference between buttons. like a mechanical a mechanical keyboard and a, yeah. a non mechanical. Yeah, keyboard. yeah. Because I didn't, I didn't like, like click, the, click 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 click. I didn't like the flat tabs. It's stupid. It's buttons sucked. are where it's at. Cause yeah. If you if you were smart, you would just kind of emulate that design, even though it's copyrighted. I'm assuming there's a patent on that guitar. Yeah. Guitar, make your own fucking version. Just put like a divot in it or something. Yeah, you know what I mean. Do different. something. Yeah, to no, it. the guitar guitar was Tweak way it. better. Way, yeah, way it was better. Better. I was nasty at Guitar Hero. I play it at sunset sometimes, and I'm always calibrating the TV. Yes. The input delay. They don't it's understand. So annoying, dude. You play a rhythm game. Same you with need Smash. One to one. They have Smash. I'm like, there's something wrong with it's the, that like, TV. Yeah, that TV sucks. That TV. Or like the aspect ratio is slightly off, so it's like clipping out like like 10 percent of the screen the all the roof. way around i'm like i hate this this yeah. is annoying the fuck out of me yeah. no i'm really like gay with certain games like that i'm yeah i'm very specific with hardware like uh, that was like kind of my my thing with uh console gaming everybody switched to pc and i was still on console and yeah. like dude i was playing xbox one and everyone you know the s is out or whatever the new xbox is out yeah and pc everyone's kind of left consoles now so i was like kind of behind but i was still putting in work dude i had a 720 I had a 720, 32-inch TV and an Xbox One, and I was putting in work. And yeah. <laughs> up. So I was, like, almost nerfed. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, they don't want me. They don't want me at full power. Yeah, like, you're rock, like Rock Lee with yeah. his fucking uh, dude. With his ankle, ankle weights. weights on. Yeah, I knew you would be a fucking excellent <laughs> guest. You're literally, dude, what was the last one you did? The Boba Straw? Boba and Straw. The ankle weights? Dude. Come on, dude. Let's go, dude. Yeah, Let's we're fucking go. We're, we're gay, fucking we're gay r- nerds. We're riff synced up right now. <laughs> dude, we're fucking synced with the riffs. It yeah, feels dude. good. The fucking boys at home watching this episode are punching the air. They're saying, we want more Chris Dawson. Like, <laughs> yeah, Calm dude. down, buddy. There's yeah. a Patreon. You'll get some more. We'll go, <clears throat> go ahead and take a moment now to hit pause. Go over to Patreon and uh, subscribe to the Radio Ridley Radio Patreon. We have multiple tiers. We got one for the broke boys. We got $5 for the intermediate brothers. We got... 20 right? 20 Do we have 10 Yeah. $10 for... <laughs> Ten dollars for alphas, <laughs> and then we got the twenty for the giga sweats, the giga, the giga sweats, the giga chad, uh, the giga chinks. Nice. We got, all, we, got all, we, got all, we got all. all over there. Head on over there, dude. Yeah, you we, said it, man. It's all good. It, we're like forty minutes into this one, I think. So I think we'll fi- we're, we're fine. We yeah, we're good, bro. We're good, dog. But yeah, man. I don't know. I've, I've seen clips of your guys' show, and I was like, God, man, that would be a good. Yeah, it's no, literally definitely. Like, we're, we got the same swag. We yeah, got yeah. Kind of. Well, it's like easy to do a podcast when you just kind of don't have a like real. There's no. Do you guys, you guys have no, like we don't segment. Have a theme, no. You don't have a theme. Do you no. guys have segments or anything? No, not really. Oh, I do have one that I try to do. It's like if you're, if I find you especially funny, I want to figure out why, and I call it the trauma zone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Would you like to enter the trauma yeah, zone? Yeah, we with can me? enter I'll the share, trauma I'll zone. I'll share one. Do you want to go first? Yeah. Or? Were you arrested? All right. Huh? I said, were you arrested? Arrested. Uh. I feel like I was. <laughs> the pause is crazy. I feel, it is. Cra- it is a crazy pause. All right. You tell me. All right. I'll tell you a story. I wasn't arrested. Uh, I, all right. I don't know if I was molested, but you tell me. I'll tell you the story. All right. So, like, my mom. I'm gonna decide if Michael is molested or not. All right. <laughs> do, do, do. Was, was he molested? Do, that should be the new se- new, se- <laughs> new segment at Radio. New segment. Re- was he molested? Guys, let us know in the comments. <laughs> After this story, if you're still listening and you're this deep into the pod and you're still listening, after the story, in the comments, please let me know if I was Was molested. molested. You're listening to the R3 Podcast. We have our first sponsor of the show, and I'm here to do a little ad for you. Guys, have you ever thought, like, yo, um, I'm not funny at all, and I really want to be funny, but... 
I, I want to pay. I want to pay to win to be funny. Well, here, uh, go go over to DickLasers.com and you get you one of these little fantastic little laser pointers that uh, basically bat signal a penis any <laughs> anytime you want. You want to shine a dick on your buddy's face? Like, imagine you're at church and the pastor's going in and you're like, bro, you know what would spice up this sermon? <laughs> Just a fucking chode right on the pastor's forehead, dude. Just go for it. Just fucking let her rip, buddy. Nobody will know. Nobody will know it's you. It's small. It's discreet. It's USB-C type C. USB -C. Type C rechargeable. It's it's hilarious. It's funny as fuck. I found um, I found it through my Instagram algorithm, and my Instagram algorithm be getting my ass. It knows exactly <laughs> what I like, and it's laser pointers that shine the shape of multiple types of dicks. You could choose up to five dicks dick shapes, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's five. But um, a recent example of this is that I do a comedy show at the Creek in the Cave every Sunday at 10 p.m. called Banana Phone. And basically, it's a heckling show. And comedians will do one minute, and then we have about five to seven minutes to make fun of them and heckle them. Well, I came up with the bright idea to shine a dick laser on a comedian while he's doing comedy at the heckle mic. And we have a specific comedian, uh, my homie Alden Schaub. He's a big portly fellow with a large gut, and his gut casts a shadow right on his crotch area. So me, being the comedic genius I am, I decide to shine the... Uh, the dick laser under his stomach, <laughs> and Taylor will provide a visual of that in the form of video <laughs> right now. Now they have a new boob laser. They have boob laser. Look at that. Incredible. The, the new, everyone loves them. Everybody loves the boob laser, dude. I'm going to be doing that to Alden Shop. also. I'm going to be doing that to, yeah, go ahead. Um, If you guys want to get a dick laser or the new released boob laser, uh, free shipping, go ahead and head on over to dicklasers.com and use Promo code SWEATY for 10% off at checkout. Go ahead and check out DickLasers.com and uh, tell them Michael Ridley sent you with promo code SWEATY at 10 per oh, with 10% off at checkout. Thanks, guys. Thank you. It's the R3 Podcast. All right, so when my mom was cheating on my dad, I uh, she would go over to this guy's house that she used to work with. They uh, There was a Canon factory. You know Canon cameras? Yeah. Printers, all that? Sure. All the Filipino people in my hometown worked at this factory. So my mom naturally meets a guy there. Sure. She's not really interested in my dad anymore. Like the marriage is fading or whatever. So she finds this guy. Mm -hmm. So she would take us over to this guy's house, right? And then she would be banging this dude. Hell yeah, mom, get it in. Let's go. But then she'd be like, uh, you guys go outside and play. <laughs> so then like one day I left this. We would go to this guy's house. You know, they'd be doing whatever they'd be doing. And then I'd be out in this guy's neighborhood and this black guy lured me into his house. Oh, no. And I'm in this house with this black guy, and there's Classic. a video camera. He has a video Weird. camera out. Yeah, like a camera on a tripod oh, like this. No. But it's like a JVC fucking big-ass yeah, camcorder. Yeah. And then he has his granddaughter there. Ew. Right? And it's getting it's getting worse. Don't worry. Yeah. It, it'll get better. Okay. Um, he turns on music. I can't remember, like, some old music. Key Sweat. Uh, yes, I'm like, <laughs> man, my I'm, body. I'm gonna make own. I'm gonna make these kids fuck. <laughs> <laughs> gotta play the gotta set some to gotta my play some. Body set. On, on your <laughs> so, then, charms. so um so like he puts me in front of the girl and uh, his granddaughter or whatever, and then he puts my arms on her shoulder. Uh, he puts my arms on her waist and he puts her arms on my shoulders uh -huh. and he he videotapes us slow dancing to music, and then he lets me go. Weird, right? Yeah, it's like. Almost I'm arrested. Very like the close. story up until now, you're like everyone you listening. Just black, is like, do you remember? Geez. Did you black out? Whatever happened after? Dude, all I remember is this black guy just. He was smiling. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at he, cute uh, kids. Man, look at the kids. I, uh, see, there's cute kids on the street. You just bring them in and make them dance with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Ain't nothing wrong with that. All of a sudden, just innocent. making the kids dance. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean I'm you going to children. jail? <laughs> yeah. What you mean I'm going to jail? They dance. Yeah, that's no. That's crazy. So, do you think he was jorking it to that? Afterwards? He might have been jorking it. Yeah, he might have been like, well, this is like the safe way of getting it done. I could just record them doing something normal and then jork to it later. Yeah, he could maybe <laughs> jork to it. It's the over under on the jork versus jelk on that. I think he's 70 30. He's jorking. For like, sure. Like, there's a 30% chance he's just a weirdo. Right. Yeah. Right. Sort of like a Michael Jackson situation, but not as clear yeah. cut. But that was like, I was like five. Yeah. I was five. It was like mm, two, 93. Yeah, I would say it's like, yeah, I was like five or six when that happened. Weird. Yeah. 
No, and that's then, uh, freaky. And then afterwards, I found a frog and I dropped a cinder block on it. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty fucking sick. Same day? day? Yeah, same wow, day. Wow, what a day. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't have days like that anymore. Ooh, and I remember. That is a distinctly five year old day. You almost get molested and then you murder a frog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's such a such a early Such a five year old day. Only 2,000 kids get it. <laughs> such a, such a, before kids, we had phones? Before we had iPads where we, we were, were just watching ISIS beheadings, yeah. we were beheading frogs in our backyards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were slow dancing with black girls. <laughs> Of our age, and then murdering frogs. Yeah, that's that's, that's not like crazy. Some, that's like some five-year-old. That's not crazy. Kid. Yeah, but I, I still definitely did on. like stuff like not murdering frogs. I'm trying to remember. Like I would do weird stuff, like uh, just kid, like play with lizards. We had a lot of lizards in Florida. Yeah. I'd throw them. Like we had this screen fence or like a pool with a screen. Yeah. And then the lizards would climb up the screen and just whack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fly like yeah, thirty yeah, feet. Yeah. Well, so they're I like, definitely they're like bugs. animals for at, fun. At that point, well, lizards and stuff. Like when you're it, lizards being abusive to me is like, where are you? Yeah. Because they're iguanas, everywhere. iguanas. They're a pest in South Florida. Yeah, in South Florida, you're like allowed to kill them. They're like pigs here. These yeah, wild to, yeah, hogs. The or yeah, whatever, the yeah, the wild hogs of Texas are like the, it's the equivalent. Yeah, the iguanas. There's also snakes too. Real snakes. bad. Uh, pythons. There's ball pythons over here. Supposed <laughs> yeah. to kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if they're like, yeah. if the government's like, yeah, go ahead, go for it. Yeah, but these were just brown animals. They're called. They're just pretty brown stand- animals. Animals, brown animals. Yeah, yeah. They're I actually. Saw one. I think they are invasive. They killed all the green animals that were native. There's green animals here in Texas, and yeah. they're in my neighborhood all the time, and they look crazy. They're, they're sick as hell. Yeah, my dog will sniff them and shit, and they're just like, <laughs> just fucking golem. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> just had a giant my, dog. My uncle's sniffing. dog ate a fucking toad and died. Yeah. They're like venomous or whatever. Ugh, yeah, he just probably ate just a poison. ate too much of it. Yeah, he just loved eating toads, and it just killed him one day. Yeah, he was just addicted to that toad sweat yeah, that dude, tripped doing, balls off. He was doing five ethyl methyl tryptamine, dude. He was doing the toad DMT. Yeah, he was, <laughs> the, doing, he was licking toads. The dude. dog was just opening that his third like, eye. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks, he's walking on two feet, and he's using tools. <laughs> <laughs> stone ape theory. He's got like a beaker. <laughs> yeah, stone dog theory. Stone dog theory. He can just do science now. <clears throat> yeah. No, I was never molested. Um, yeah, what trauma? Any trauma? I was just a big. I was just fat and had red hair, dude. I think that's good Fuck, enough. Dude, that's good yeah. enough, dude. You were, you were Asian. I was. <laughs> <laughs> you were basically Asian in yeah. an all black school. I was culturally Asian. Yeah, yeah. But I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a, like we're in the similar rankings of like dating and having. We have to ginger. Riz. Yeah, ginger yeah, Asian. And Asian ginger guys, Asian uh, men, and yeah. black women. We're yeah. like all in the same like yeah, tier that, I of feel, dating. I think black women may be a little better. Black women may know. be a little better. But because men the like hot ones, there's still... plenty of men. Uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe dark skinned women. To yeah, be dark, fair. dark, dark skinned skin women. women in like you know. I did it on yeah. I did it on stage once. So I was like talking about dating as an Asian. And I was like, this black girl understands, and she's mm-hmm. like, and I was yeah. like, yep, that's right. Just white white people don't want anything yeah, to yeah, do with it. Tinder is horrible for us. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, true. I don't think Ginger is that bad. No, I think it's, it's, a, not, it's a tier little above little, Asian. Yeah, dude. I'm yeah, not gonna yeah, like, yeah you're still white. Yeah, you're still white. Still white. Yeah, but you're still fucking white. Okay. Yeah. Never yeah. fucking forget. Okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I won't. <laughs> I just get really into being white yeah, for five yeah. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love it. No, um, there was always the one redhead character in like every you know yeah. KKK movie. There yeah, was just like the 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 one redheaded guy. And they're like, is he cool? Is he? Is that all right? What is he like? Gaelic? I've heard, I've what heard things about like Gaelic. Gaelic, man. Gaelic. Fuck that shit, man. <laughs> the hell, dude. No, there was every every bully was had red hair in TV. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Like yeah. everybody hates Chris, the Sandlot kid. He wasn't explicitly a bully, but he seemed like a little fuck. Mm-hmm. Like the fat. I look just like him. That's who I got all what the was time. That? What was that show? Sandlot. Adventures Adventures of Pete and Pete. Yeah, they were both gingers. They, they were both gingers. Yeah, yeah. that was a little a before my time. It was. How yeah. old are you? I'm 28. You're 28. Oh yeah, I'm Pete 31. And Pete, and Pete, and Pete yeah. was like, I'm 31, and Pete and Pete was like kind of before my time. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of other ginger. There's no ginger celebs, dude. Mm. I've we have a reoccurring thing on my podcast where it's like the hottest I could be is uh, uh, Andrew Santino. Oh, that's yeah, the yeah. best I could physically look. Yeah, I I always He's like do a square shaped head. You know, symmetrical head, mm-hmm. good shape, but ginger. Yeah. Um, I always. I always, whenever I have a ginger guest on the show, it's a reoccurring theme. Mm-hmm. It, it does really well. Yeah, Tony Wellen's a ginger kind of, right? Kind of, yeah. He's, he's kind of ginger. Like that, he's like a like, half. He's, he's got a day like walker. my skin tone and freckles, but he has like d- dirty blonde hair and like kind of an orangish beard. Mm, that's, that's right. That's a lot yeah. of things too. So people have a red beard. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. Kind of halfway so he's a day walker. Yeah, he's a day he's walker. A day walker yeah, he's sure. a day walker for sure. No, being a full on ginger was fucking full on ginger, especially South Park. Like, 
Yeah, the that, Souls episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. there was also this thing called Kick a Ginger Day, <laughs> which is exactly what At it sounds school. like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, all right, dude, Wednesday's pajama party. <laughs> Thursday, <Yes>. kick Chris. <laughs> yeah, kick <laughs> Chris off right in his face. <laughs> Yeah, so that's. No, what the hell? Why are you kicking me? What the fuck? (laughs) Why is he Vietnamese? (laughs) Vietnamese voice, please. Why is he Vietnamese? He's a fat ginger. This is high school. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, dude, I fucking I don't know about you, but like post puberty, I just wanted to fucking end my life. I was like, oh, I was like emo mode, but I wasn't like emo garb or music. I just had the emotions of like a. Of yeah. like a guy who was in the cure. You know? Started started early for me, like eight years old. Yeah. Yeah. I started feeling depression the year the Bionicles came out. <laughs> it was pretty sick. I had never my, get better than this. Me and my boys. Hell yeah, like, dude. Fellas, you might be wondering why I brought you all here. Uh, yeah. I had a wolf day at school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Um today we're climbing to the top of Mount <laughs> Mat- <Matinui. laughs> And we're gonna un- unlock the secrets of the eye wind. <laughs> dude, I had uh <laughs> I love making Bionicle references. Yeah. I've been making a lot of Bionicle references on stage Bionicle, lately. Dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, Spider-Man 1 and Bionicle is like big heavy. I'm like, <laughs> mental, mentally I'm in 2001 right now. Hell yeah, dude. It's funny because last night, I, I was up late last night. I was beating myself up. I, you beating know, I, yourself off? Beating myself up. Beat myself off. Yeah. Uh, I jorked today, so mm-hmm. I feel pretty good. But like, no, yeah, last I night I was. Too. I had to get, you had to clear, you got to clear the mind for the pod. Yeah, you got to clear the mind for yeah. the pod. I need to jerk off before a pod or I need to bust before a pod. Busting mm-hmm. before stage though, I. I don't like to pre, I don't like to bust too close to stage time. No, yeah, I, I did it. I did it last night. The, me and the lady. Throws you off. Me and the lady had the old cheek sesh and I was oh, like, well, I already if had make a, love, that's a little different. Cheek sesh, but I was like, uh, I feel like I already won. You know what I yeah, mean? There's true. no W to, vers- I've already got a W today. Yeah, so I'm like, post, Damn. post good set coitus is great. Yeah. Fuck after the set. After fuck you after. crush. Yeah. And she's in the room, and she's seeing everyone. And she's not laughing, but she's just like... Yeah, because she's seen the set 17 yeah, she, times. Yeah, but so. but she's seeing the crowd, and the crowd's reaction. She's seeing my swag. She's seeing my fucking aura Riz, and Riz. Yeah, aura, Riz, 10,000 aura, fucking yeah, 40, w, 000, Riz. 40K Riz. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. But yeah, hold on. I was thinking about... Oh, yeah, while I was up la- late last night, I was thinking about, like, 2001. I was living in Colorado with my parents. Nice. Well, I was living in Colorado with my dad after my parents got divorced, and we would eat Applebee's, like, every night. And then he would take me and buy me Legos. That's and that was just... Sick. I, oh, it was sick, but I was empty. I didn't uh, have any friends, and it was an apartment complex, and it was weird. You had it all, but you had nothing. My only friend, really, was a kid across the hallway, directly across the hallway on the other end. And he yeah. had uh, the biker dyke mom, and he nice. was, like, a light-skinned, half-black kid. Beautiful. So it was like this biker dyke got knocked up by a black dude and was mm-hmm. like, I'm fucking women from now on. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, all right, I had my fun time. All right, we got, I got Quante, and that's it. All right, now it's time for me and Rachel to drive this Ford Escort into yeah, the sunset. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Yeah. Just a, a young black child in the backseat of a Joseph. Ford Escort. Yeah, yeah. Shouts out Joseph. Joseph, dude. yeah. Joseph, I don't know if you remember me, but I remember you. You nice. told me that men could lactate, <laughs> and I didn't believe you, and I knew that wasn't real. Wait, can men lactate? <laughs> no, they, they don't, we don't have boob. Yeah, we, we don't, don't have, have the boob, boob internals. We don't have boob. We don't have boob. We only I have remember, nip. I, I, dude, I remember I, this is like a weird, oh, you just unlocked a fucking repressed memory with that. Yeah. I was watching something on TV, like porn or something, and I didn't know what it was. And then uh, I told my dad, like, the next day. You beat your ass? No, no. <laughs> no my... He taught you how to jork it? <laughs> he taught me how to jork it. No, I was talking to my dad, and I was like, uh, yeah, like, I, I found out that men can make milk. And he was like, what? And I was like, yeah, men can make milk, and they, but they, like, they wear chains when they make milk. They have to wear chains. And my dad goes, what the fuck were you, you watching? watching? <laughs> Dude, he's, I'm like, Just I don't the coolest know. Movie I was ever. like, it was on TV. Men can make milk. <laughs> <laughs> I still have no clue. You know what really traumatized me too? My granny, shout to, rest in peace, my granny. She was goaded, and she showed me like stuff that was too old for me, but I was like interested in it. And she didn't really care. She was really artsy and kind of cool like that. And she showed me Princess Mononoke when I was like four years old, oh, and it just sick. gave me nightmares for Ghibli. like weeks and months. And I had no idea what Studio Ghibli was until like mm-hmm. high school. And then I saw Princess Mononoke. I was like, "That's what ruined my forty-year-old psyche." Mm-hmm. So, so all the blood, all those spaghetti <laughs> that fucking yeah. scared the shit out of me. And then the gods, the fucking uh, deer god, that's like 
You know, yeah, about yeah, yeah, that thing. I'd had nightmares about that. Every yeah, the visuals, night. the the Ghibli visuals can't fuck you up. And the, the little the little guys, the little yeah. spirits, the teeny ones. The yeah, yeah. They scared the living shit yeah. out of me. I remember uh, the last Ghibli movie I watched was The Boy and the Heron, and I watched. Oh, I haven't seen it. It's sick. Uh, take like four grams of mushrooms, <laughs> dude. I took like four or five grams of mushrooms. Me and my wife go and see this movie, and there's like five people in the theater. Nice. And um, the plot of the movie is basically all my childhood trauma. Oh no. And the longer we keep watching it, the more we realize how on the nose it is. Oh, My scary. wife starts realizing what's happening. Whoa. And she looks over and she's like, hey, are you okay? And I'm like, this is the most beautiful movie I've ever seen <laughs> oh, in my goddamn good. life, bro. Oh, good. And I was like, this is a beautifully, uh, you know, it's about a kid and his mom dies. And, you know, he literally, he literally wakes up to his mom is dying. And yeah. that, that's what happened to me. Like, I woke up. That day, I went to school that morning, and I was all fucked up. And then I came home, and I, like, put a test. It's so gay, dude. I put, a, like, a test with an A on it by her bedstand, Aww, and I kissed her on the forehead. Damn. And I was like, well, I hope you feel better. Here's something to look at when you wake up. Here, check this oh, out. She never woke up? No, she died. Oh, I'm sorry. We carried her to the, sub uh, well, dude, she was in the third world. She she was born in the third world Philippines, and she died driving Tony Soprano's Yukon Denali. You really? know what I mean? She was... Yeah, she had that same Denali. Oh, that, nice. That, you know what I mean? She was, she killed it. Yeah. She was a bald headed kid that got beat and bullied. And, Whoa. Yeah, and then she died pretty much like at the top of her game before the world started falling apart. How did she pass away? Brain aneurysm. So oh. just boom, just woke up one day. And my mom was fucking dead. That and that's sucks. the story of the kid. It's like, yeah. he goes, uh, you know, and he's like royalty or whatever. And then he goes and fucking, you know, um, he goes at, uh, to the castle and it's burning and his mom burns t to death in the Whoa. castle. Yeah. Damn, that's heavy. And then his dad remarries a lady, and then now he moves to a new place, goes to a new school, and he's living with his dad and his new wife. Whoa. And I was like, oh, that's literally everything that happened to me after my mom died. What that's the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah, that literally. would suck to see on Mushrooms, but maybe be good, too. Well, it was also, like, the movie was so good. I think the movie was designed for you to watch on Mushrooms because <laughs> you're, like, on the verge of, like, wanting to have a mental breakdown and cry. And yeah. then it will just pull out the funniest, goofiest oh, shit. Oh, good. So there's writing devices where they, like, they add a funny thing. Like, there's it one breaks scene. breaks tension. Yeah, there's one scene where, like, this kid, the kid is, like, having, like, something bad's happening to him. And you know how Ghibli yeah, will yeah, just yeah. randomly have, like, a visual mental breakdown yeah. kind of scene and he's like getting covered in frogs and he's like going like this and he's Whoa. all covered in frogs and then the frogs are like join us <laughs> join join us Whoa. and me and one other dude who I assume was also oh. on mushrooms start laughing <laughs> <laughs> join us join us we're fucking dying That's laughing the Huh? The boy and the heron. The boy and the heron. Dude, I saw I saw Spirit. I hadn't seen Spirited Away ever. And the last time I took mushrooms, I went. It was showing in theaters again, and what, they showed Spirited what, Away. Spirited Away. Yeah. And I'd never seen it because I tried to watch it on two five I. I don't know if you heard of two five I. It's like, like an real, acid kind it's of like fake acid. Fake acid. Fake acid. And, yeah, I, yeah. and they all turned into pigs at the beginning, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, oh. right there, yeah. Yeah, and then they and then they start talking. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the, he's like, like covered in frog. You. He's like, join, join us, join. And then the 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 heron right there. If you go to the bottom right corner, yeah, that heron picture right there, where yeah. the kid's talking to the heron, that's voiced by uh, Robert Pattinson. Oh, cool. And it's like a dark, evil voice. <laughs> and then he meets a heron. There's a well, there's a there's a pelican, a dying pelican scene, mm -hmm. and that's voiced by Willem Dafoe. Yeah, and there'd be some banger a ones. Banger fucking... I remember Princess Mononoke had, like, Billy Bob Thornton and, yeah. like, all these cool names attached to it. Yeah, they don't fuck around. Miyazaki doesn't fuck around when he books these people for yeah, that, for when sure. he casts these voices. He's, like, he finds the best of America. Bro. Yeah, no, I gotta watch this one. I didn't realize how new it is. I gotta check it that out. It came out, like, last year, and it rips. No, it's fucking So sick. the story is, like, wait, this is the new house that he moves in after his mom dies. Yeah. And there's, like, an old abandoned castle in the yard, and mm -hmm. this heron keeps following him, and then he watches the heron flying to the castle... He walks in, and now it's a Ghibli movie. Yeah, you already know yeah, how it yeah, goes. Yeah, they yeah. always go into, like, a, a different realm. A small place, and it's big. Yeah, yeah, and this castle, like, represents space and time and all that ever was. Well, and then you're on Mushrooms, uh, and you're just like, this is an amazing... <laughs> you're like, this is an awesome yeah. visual representation of time, timelines, and alternate realities. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah, no, I would watch it on Mushrooms. Dude, I was tripping so I'm hard. I'm going to buy it physically. I'm nice. going to buy that movie. I was tripping so hard at Spirited Away that I couldn't look at the screen because it was too <laughs> it was too stimulating. The fucking this thing? The dragon. The, yeah, and the and dragon like, crawl. The All the weird or... creatures bathing, and yeah. I was like, I had to look at the floor. I looked at the floor for like 67% <laughs> of the film, 
And my friend, my friend took the same amount of mushrooms, but I think I'm just more sensitive to mushrooms than he is. Yeah. So I'm tripping dick. We took like two and a half grams each. Yeah. Two ish, two. Uh, you yeah, know, that's good. That's a good decent amount. A nothing decent crazy. Amount movie, yeah. And I'm like tripping absolute balls. And he's like, I didn't, he was like, I didn't really feel him. And I was like, what? <laughs> For what of, of of what do you speak? From whence have you came? No, I don't yeah. understand. I can't wrap my brain around. Dude, I was looking at the floor and I dropped my phone, and I gasped. <gasps> in the <gasps> everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. so scared that everyone knew I was tripping balls because I dropped my phone. <laughs> I was convinced. Yeah. But then I just couldn't watch Spirit Away. I, I stared at the floor. I'm gonna bring up something funny that I did on mushrooms one time. I was with Taylor. I did my first set in Fat Man, and nice. I, I was like still high. You were on that. mushrooms. No, 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 oh, not oh, a mushroom, oh. not a mushroom. That would be such a crazy, That'd be crazy. move. Crazy. But the next day, that week, I did my first set in Fat Man with Tony. He had me do Tony and Friends, and I nice. did five minutes. You know, it was fine. Whatever. That's a huge W for me because you know I'm literally like I don't have any cosigns or anything. I'm just no, like a grassroots guy. Sick, dude. I'm the streets. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like that's cool. Came to up be from able... the mud. Yeah, came literally came up from the mud. Eleven years in in December. Let's go, baby. Nice. Yeah. So I'm go I'm grateful to be here or whatever. But like, did the first set in Fat Man. Right, and then that week, I guess like we tripped balls and went to Zilker, or well, we went to uh, Barton. Barton. Yeah. yeah, we walked around Barton, and we we're like, oh, this is sick. And then that night, we went to this restaurant or whatever, and these ladies recognized me from the Fat oh, Man set, and I'm on mushrooms, and I'm like, hey, I'm on mushrooms. I really appreciate you recognizing me, though. Ugh. I'm cold. Yeah. Then I go to the bathroom. I go to the bathroom, right? <laughs> I fucking um, I go in there, and there's just a giant like. There's just like a whole disc golf community that's okay. at this place. And this big disc golfer guy with bald head, big beard. He's in there like combing and straightening his beard. his beard. He's manicuring his beard, but he has like all barber shit. Oh. He's like all this barber shit. And he's like doing it in the bathroom. And he goes, sorry, man. It's just, you know, the, the humidity out here just fucks my shit up. And I go, you're good, brother. I don't know if you realize this, but you're talking to a Chinese guy with a mullet on mushrooms right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to kind of like, hey, man, it's only getting weirder. <laughs> yeah, you can, don't worry, brother. You're allowed to trim your I'm mushrooms. Being, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or your, 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 uh, uh, your, beard. your beard. Yeah, if I can be an Asian guy with a mullet on mushrooms, you can definitely privately trim your beard Trim your beard in public. Yeah. You're fine, dude. You're good. It's funny he's apologetic. He's like, I'm not a huge fucking douchebag. Yeah. Like, well, yeah well, I mean, you well, kind of have like a trimming, barber you box. You have a barber kid at a <laughs> restaurant. Yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of a huge... Douche, but that's, that's kind of okay. fucking weird. Yeah, don't worry. I'm also like on drugs in <laughs> yeah, public. So. I'm also literally Asian, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm, a, yeah, that I'm little... literally Filipino. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it, dude. I'm just a Filipino. I'm yeah, just a Filipino. I'm drug just addict. nasty at Dance Dance Revolution. It's yeah, fine. I'm just super nasty. At Seriously, DDR. don't don't sweat it. What was your favorite DDR song? Like your your I'm a I'm a dreamer, uh, dreamer. I'm a dream, I'm I'm a fucking in your dream. I'm just painting from my dreams. So I'm living a dream. Dream a dream. Ooh la la dee da da. You gotta dream a, a little, little dream. dream. It's like, oh, we're in the bank. Oh, boom. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, Captain Jack. Hey, yeah, oh, Captain, Captain Jack. Come Captain. on, suck my Asian sack. Yeah. Come on down. Eat my dick. Eat my ass. Eat my dick. Eat my ass. Come on, suck me up. Come on down and suck me up. Yeah, it was so oh. good. And then it go, dream a dream. <laughs> Dude, that, 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 that gimmick really worked on me. The Eurobeat. Like yeah, Eurobeat got my ass. It fucking got me good. Yeah, well, then, that one and pump up the jams, pump yeah. it up. That's well, classic. They fucking put a well, they put a DDR machine in the arcade that I grew up in, mm -hmm. and then like something happened. It was like that scene in Toy Story where Buzz shows up. Yeah, they brought Initial D in. Whoa, Initial D, the arcade racing. Yeah, the game. driving game. The driving game. Yeah. yeah, that when that shit came out, it was the same day we were like looking over the edge of the bed, like. <laughs> What's that? No, well, what's well, well there's there? proprietary memory cards that you use to save your progress. <laughs> oh, real time PvP. Whoa. Or yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. You're racing the guy and you build your car on the card or whatever. That's sick. And they is that an anime initial D? It's an anime, yeah. Okay, but is it a game based on the anime. My love for Eurobeats started with DDR, nice. and then you t you hop in the initial D game, and there's Eurobeats, the soundtrack yeah. of that game. So then I start getting into cars, and then I just, dude, I just bought a Miata last weekend, and I put the fucking Eurobeat on in the Miata, oh, and was yeah. like, oh, dude, I'm back home, bro. Oh, yeah. Because there's no rhythm game, so I'm just like, boom, move my hands, listen to the music, driving fast in yeah, a little car. Sick. It's fun. You know that's what I mean? It's the same, hell. like, same area of adrenaline. It all came from that. Nice. So it's like, I'm very happy to have yeah, it my Miata. Yeah, it all comes full circle. Yeah, yeah it's weird. How, like, I'm trying to explain my love for Eurobeat, and it started with the DDR game, and it's like hot emo girls that played it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The hot emo girls always play DR. Hot dude. girl playing D and D is something yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she's like me. Yeah, yeah. Well, wow, sick. One day I'll speak to her. Oh, cool. Her plate, her place card is uh, tails. <laughs> <laughs> you remember the the lines like of the DDR machine? Did you ever play it in an arcade? 
Yeah, I played. Yeah, I played in an they, arcade a little. Remember bit. they put a quarter like there was a bunch of people playing and they'd put like a quarter. Yeah. to show their place in the line. Yeah, well, people would make like custom personal, ones, customized Whoa. placeholder cards. You, they were into it. Yeah, it would be like their fucking avatar or whatever. Yeah. Or it'd be like one guy would be like, "Yeah, this is just a fucking computer printout of big anime girl, uh, yeah, big, big tit, titty, big titted yeah. anime girl." Yeah, and like, yeah, that's me. Yeah, also, that. also, I'm Shadow Blaze. That's like my username that I use in real life because we're mm-hmm. in an arcade. Everybody yeah. goes by their fucking online username. <laughs> in arcade I'm Michael, Dude, you fucking weirdo. You fucking sicko. <laughs> you, fucking, you fucking gooner. You I feel fucking like, yeah, hentai yeah. gooners. <laughs> hentai gooners playing DDR, musty ass hentai gooners. Yeah, I wish there were more places like that because, like, part of me like actually looks at like uh, you'll see like a fucking like Korean land shop or whatever they're yeah. called where they're all playing fucking starcraft and there's like 17 <laughs> of them all together and you're yeah. like they're probably like boys for life dude. yeah they probably have no lives and they're they're you know they have cum stains all over their fucking yeah they fucking... built they built one in my hometown and it was like they had a like a, a makeshift ddr cabinet and then they had everyone was playing starcraft and uh, yeah, world dude. of warcraft and yeah. shit uh taylor can you should have type... gamed harder that was my biggest regret i know I yeah gamed harder gaming yeah now i can't game anymore we're playing overwatch with everybody I've been i just start, play started... melee online constantly oh god dude. i'm nasty dude Fuck. i'm nasty at melee that's all uh, i play now what do you play on Minecraft? emulator yeah you play dolphin and then there's this uh program called slippy where you can play online it's like matchmaking it's really really Sick. good yeah it's slippy.gg that's brilliant it's i remember awesome. my friend like in the 90s he had smash brothers ripped on his 90 like computer it's like yeah 2000 and he had emulated Smash Bros. Yeah. Mind you, like, it could only render the shape of Luigi. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, But I was yeah. like, yo, that's, wasn't good that's enough. Hyrule Castle. Yeah. How'd you put that on the computer? That's crazy, Like, yeah. emulation is sick as fuck. Yeah, and my cousin did that for me in the mid-2000s with uh, Project 64. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. You remember Project 64? Yep. And I just had, like, a million Nintendo 64 games I would yep. just play on my computer. My, um, my... One of my babysitters when I lived in Japan, her husband had, like, a ripped copy of vice city nice and his wife he had a filipino wife she's like do you like vice city vice city do you like vice city <laughs> jason has copy of vice city <laughs> and he can put it on your computer and whoa. i'm like whoa i'm a 13 i'm like yo please I'm i love vice city, city dude i, do, I please love let me play i love vice city i love grand theft auto vice city <laughs> it's my favorite it's my favorite it's my favorite of the franchise <laughs> personally my favorite <laughs> That rocks, oh my dude. god, you're out of touch. You're, <laughs> you're out, out of touch. touch. Gonna beat this hooker up and take her cash. You're <laughs> out of touch. touch. Oh, oh, oh. Hell yeah, dude. But yeah, dude, it was sick. I had fucking Vice City on my fucking HP, like shitty ass computer. And yeah. It ran it perfectly. And you could edit the skins. So I would go on CCS.com and I would take like skater clothes and cut it on paint and oh. put Tommy Versetti wearing a zero t shirt. <laughs> Let's go, <laughs> yeah, dude. It was, it was sick. Yeah. Was yeah. Like, that fucking rocks, dude. Yeah. Being able to make your own skin is like a, it was like a feature of the PC version of the game. So I was like, oh, okay. Nice. Dude. Air Force One. Air Force One. Yeah. But yeah, that um, that was a chill little first freebie hour, dude. Yeah, You're thanks for having me, dude. Yeah, of course, man. Uh, let's plug. It. Let's do a little end cap for all yeah. the people on YouTube. Show them, give them all your stuff. Rough week show all that. Yeah, shit. listen or just main thing is rough week podcasts on YouTube. Please subscribe and listen to that. Fuck uh, yeah. My personal Instagram is Christine Official. Hell yeah! Dude. But if you do nothing, please listen to my podcast. For sure, and it's a fun show, and yeah. I, I, that, that's why he's here because I saw the clips and I was like, yeah, that's exactly what. And then we became boys. Yeah. The yeah. vibe was the vibe was instant. Vibes are there, but this episode's going to continue on my Patreon. Hell yeah! Uh, go ahead and head on over there if you guys want to see the rest yeah, of this. Yeah, check this out. Sick. I'll land oh, it yeah. on Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, see the see the bottle. Flip I will land all. it on Patreon. Yeah, that see is the bottle guarantee. flip on Patreon. Right, bye. Uh, bye. I love you guys. Bye bye.